notification. Okay, and we are live. I want to thank everyone <laughs> for tuning in to such a very special edition of the People's Podcast this afternoon. Me and Sister Kiana have been working diligently behind the scenes to come to come forth with some straight fire on this spoken word. Sister Kiana, are you ready, ma'am? Yes, sir. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's let's hear your first piece. All right, we're going to start with a prayer because whoo, just the connection <laughs> calls for this. No, um, this piece is actually called Prayer for Healing. Uh, and it, I believe most people can relate to it uh, because we get to a place where we become extremely angry and I'm not even going to go through it. You'll get it as I, as I read it. Dear God, you're beneficent and your mercies above all. I thank you for loving me in spite of my flaws. Thank you for my heart that wants closeness with you. Thank you for the minister and messenger too. Please forgive me for all the wrong I did, be it in action or thoughts or something I said. Please remove this pain that stains my heart. And make me anew for I want a fresh start. Too often I've felt the, the slight of a friend that has caused me to become bitter within. But I know that's not becoming of me. So release this anger so I can be free. I have created a wall to block others out, even prayed for a cold heart so there would be no doubt that no weapon could prosper if formed against me. But that prayer locked me in a jail, now I'm no longer free. Not only did this prayer keep others away, I thought it would just be a safe place to stay. Instead, I lost the light that you gave only to me, that special sugar and spikes called my identity. Then a guilt immediately overwhelmed my soul. I had to repent from this hate and let it go. I cried, oh God, I never meant to disrespect you. Please free me from this jail, tell me what to do. He said, I will restore to you all that you have lost, but you have to remove the chains and take the mask off. You have to share the gifts that I placed inside you. See, before you was born, I knew this world would need you. Remember the songs I placed inside your heart. Those songs give you light even when all is dark. Allow that light to shine so that others can see. For when they see your light through you, they'll see me. Right then I felt a love pull me near. I knew God was with me and I felt no fear. I promise to no longer let past pain be the reason that I be blocked from my blessing in due season. I mean. Hey, I mean, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. Beautiful. And, yes, and what was the inspiration? What what was the inspiration behind that, Sister Kim? Well, um, I was you had asked me how long I had been writing. And I started writing in like 1996-97. And I wrote all the way up until about 2007, open mics, always writing. I even, you know, had a copywritten and all of that. Then I went through a very hard season in my life, several different hard seasons in my life. And it caused me to become really cold. And I didn't want, yeah. it caused me to become very angry and bitter. And with my poetry, I like to spread love and light. But because of my anger, my bitterness, what I really wanted to spread was anger, hate, and that's not who I was. So I didn't write anything down and I stopped writing altogether. But um, I realized I got to a place where I couldn't be myself. And like I said in the poem, instead of me blocking others out so that I would be safe, I wound up locking myself in the jail. And I realized by doing that, that was a total disrespect to the God-given gifts that he has given to me. Yes, so this is my prayer during that time. And I put it in a poetry form. Praise be to Allah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sister Miriam and Sister Naima says, ASA Family Peace. Sister Tracy says yes. And Sister Tracy's voice. Uh, 
Sis, can we hear the second piece that, that you have, have for us today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is tea time self-talk. And um, I'm just going to go right into it. Yes, ma'am. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey, Key, it's me. Oh, girl, where you been? Sit down, have some tea. Sis, I've been thinking about you awful lot. Oh, really? That's good, because I thought you forgot. Well, I have to admit, I'm guilty as charged. I've been a little swamped over here answering these calls. You know how it goes as mother and wife. Honey, did you do? Mommy, can I please all day and all night? Now, don't get me wrong. I love what I do. I take pride in knowing. But sis, what about you? Who, me? Oh, shucks. I'm going to be all right. God got me. I got them. Everything's just right. You see, I have to make sure everything is in place so my family is prepared to win this race. This race called life gets harder by the day. So I got to plan ahead and pave the way. The last thing they need is confusion and frustration. Therefore, I study their schedules, time, dates, and locations, ensuring they have healthy food, clothing supplies, and a little extra standby in case the unexpected arrives. So let me get this straight. You don't only plan for the day, but you also are planning for mistakes along the way? Yes, of course. But like I said, I love what I do. And I'm going to ask you again, sis, what about you? Oh, trust me, I'm good. I'm going to be all right. God got me. I got them. Everything's just right. Then off to work to handle my biz. And let me guess, more times, deadlines, and another to-do list. Yeah, well, that's about right. But no worries. I was made for this. I'm going to be all right. Headed home from work, the traffic I fight. No time to waste, too much to do before night. Plus, you know, once home, I got to give them some time. Fix dinner, do homework, plan for tomorrow, unwind. Unwind? Who, me? I know you're not talking about me. My time to unwind will be August 18th. You see, that's my birthday. I'll take that day just for me. Then again, we'll probably go get something to eat. I love my family, and this is the sacrifice I make. I know you do, but I don't want you to break. You see, I've listened to you, and you're doing a great job. However, self-preservation comes above all. If you truly love your family, then take care of you. You can't be good to them and bad to you. Your body needs rest physically and mentally too. So mandate some time when it's all about you. They'll thank you for this. No guilt, no shame. Once you increase your peace, those around you will feel the same. You are so valuable and needed. There's a lot on your plate. But without self-care, even the strongest will break. God helps those that help themselves. So no more throwing your wants and your needs on the shelf. Promise me you will take at least 10 minutes a day to relax, unwind, meditate, and pray. Woo! Tea time. Self-talk is just what I need. It gave me a chance to talk with me over tea. The end. Hey, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Excellent, sister. Excellent. Yes, um, Brother Joseph says ASA, Sister Kiana, beautiful. My sister Mary Thank says self-preservation. That's what words is. Boom. A lot of people making sure the chakras are online. Shea butter's everywhere. Everybody's tapping in, <laughs> tuning in. Thank you very much. Oh, praise be to a lot. Praise yes, be to Sister Kiana, how can we support your um work? Do you have it on YouTube? How, how can we hear it? Um, actually, I have not started that as of today, but it is in the works. Um, I think I will begin to get it out there and um, just continue to support. Like when I post videos on uh, Facebook, continue to support and encourage me because it definitely goes. I think that through my journey in life, I have a lot of understanding and empathy to what not only we as women, but different situations that we as Black people are faced with throughout this day and time. So. Praise be to the Lord. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you, Sister Kiana, for taking time 
out of your busy schedule to come on people's podcast. We're going to put it on YouTube. I'm going to share it on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well to make sure that we continue to highlight the beautiful spoken word. Thank you, Sister Tracy, for being the plug. Thanks, Sister Kiana, for, Thank for delivering. You. And yes, uh, thank, I want to thank um, Bell South, Comcast, whatever we can do to get uh, Florida's uh, Wi-Fi together so we can that would be so special, can thank you all for taking this <laughs> That would be spectrum. I'm calling them out right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, man. But thank y'all for watching. Yes, thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. I sound like a while ago.